And thanks so much. Kevin was talking about it right there. The worst air to hit our region in years, really choking the city tonight. Yeah, believe it or not, the visibility is so bad. Medical helicopters had to suspend flights. We had a victim in a motorcycle crash last night in northern Kentucky who could not be transported by air. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick is live right now. Double dose, really, Brian, of bad air. Yeah, Mike, well, the smoke is so bad, the Surgeon General should put a warning later label on the skyline. This is the view from Davu Park, if you can call it a view. So we have two problems right now, smoke and smog. So it's a double dose of air quality issues. Today's the worst day for doing anything. It's a view where the most prominent feature is the air. So thick, you have to guess the weather. It looks kind of like it might be stormy, but it's mostly just like hazy and foggy. It's troublesome not only see, but feel. I definitely feel like we've been coughing more the last week or so since it's been pretty bad. Um, I've noticed like that my throat hurts and stuff. It's so hot out and gross out. For Kayla Henderson and Maria Becker. It's horrible. Everyday efforts are more difficult. Well, it's hard, especially taking the kids out to come and play and Allergies, I have really bad allergies, so on top of it, it makes it harder to breathe and I cough all the time. The problem is two problems. First is secondhand smoke from Canada wildfires and its accomplice ozone, AKA smog. Together, it's a one-two air quality crunch. Well, frankly, today is one of the worst air quality days that we have seen in probably about a decade. Joy Landry is with the Southwest Ohio Air Quality Agency. And what we're most concerned with here today is this line that shows PM 2.5. We have a very, very high value of about 140. From the rooftop of the Hamilton County Health Department, she shows us the devices that gather the numbers and the evidence of just how thick the air is. Typically this time of year, our air quality index, generally speaking, will be in what we call moderate, which is about 51 to 100. Today we are seeing numbers 198, we may top over 200. That's considered unhealthy air for everyone. It all creates a picture worth a trillion particulates or so, but counting them isn't the biggest problem. Breathing them is. Yeah, now these smoke particulates are very small. They say uh, if you take a cross section of a human hair, it's about one tenth that size. So if you breathe them in, they can go deep into your lungs. So even for healthy people, they're saying probably shouldn't be exercising outside today. They say this would be a good day for a gym day. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, thanks so much.